Hello Aries. I hope you all are having a wonderful month. This is the 1st of June and we are here to do our June 2019 Terrascope. So let's get started. Today I will be using the 78 Tarot Nautical Tarot of the Water. This is a brand new deck and I am super excited to be using it. It is fabulous. So let's go ahead. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Aries during the month of June? What messages do we need to hear? Is there anything that we should be aware of on the lookout for? Okay, Spirit. Aries in the month of June. Aries in the month of June. Okay, let's find our significator card. There we go. So our focus in the month of June is going to be on love, relationships, family, domestic affairs, children, and home. So let's see what Spirit has to tell us. Okay. Okay. Our first card is Queen of Pentacles. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles by Jessica Douglas. A beautiful woman with lush red lips sits on an opulent throne. On her lap sits a large coin and a jeweled crown adorns her head. She sits within an abundant kelp forest teeming with life and sheltering her, and she is at the very heart of it. She is successful, not only materially and financially, but also in terms of family and love. Her lips give a hint of the sensuous nature of this queen. She has a full life, and she loves every minute of it. This card represents a figure that has it all, but it has not come easy. 
Her life is a constant juggle. Her mind is constantly worrying, but she embraces it. She is dedicated to her family and team, eager to share the spoils of her work. Next, we have the Knight of Cups. Here we have the Knight of Cups by Brenda Sadak. Within its swirl of tumultuous water, two otters frolic around a stationary androgynous youth, the Knight of Cups. His hands form the shape of a heart through which a seahorse swims. One of the otters holds a message in a bottle. The other holds a shell. The knight wears no armor. He is a lover, not a fighter. This is the knight of hearts and chivalry. In touch with his feminine side and his emotions, he is ruled by them, but not a slave to them. The knight of cups is a messenger of sorts, and he brings romantic news also taking the creative journey to, of the Page of Cups to its next level. His message is an invitation that will allow emotional needs to be fully met. Six of Cups Here we have the Six of Cups by Gilla von Meisner. A sailor boy and mermaid share a happy scene as he hands her a small paper boat. Four more dot the scene. The young mermaid signifies the younger self, the joy of youth, as the boy represents the older self. Coming together this way, they embody nostalgic walks down memory lane remembering past relationships with friends and lovers. Indeed, the last of the paper boats, the cups of this scene, is named for a dear friend, Susie, corresponding to the older figure in traditional scenes. This is a card of innocent pleasures, reminding us that our memories are a treasure trove of emotions, often inspiring us to use the past to better our futures. At best, it may lead you on a fulfilling path. At worst, it will bring a smile to your face. King of Swords. Here we have the King of Swords by Ellen Million. A barbarian king sits on a stone throne a sword in one hand, a book in the other. Behind him, waves crash, but in front of him, they are calm. His rule is absolute, even over his emotions. Clouds in the sky separate and clear around his sword. The blue sky symbolizing his mental clarity and control, and he cannot be moved on a decision. His throne is one of ancient rock. Butterflies, symbols of air and transformation, rise from the ground next to him. His intellect has transformed him fundamentally and spiritually. The King of Swords represents the need for wisdom, for actions and judgments without emotion. He is distant, but pure and blunt with it. The voice or friend that will not suffer fools and tells you not to be an idiot. Nine of Pentacles Here we have the Nine of Pentacles by Lily Buth. A beautiful mermaid sits in a garden of sea plants and sand dollar shells. She rests, content among her finery. Her garden is all that is visible. All her hard work so far has come to fruition, and it is time to relax and enjoy her accomplishment. 
One of the sand dollars adorns her hair. She enjoys her good fortune, but doesn't flaunt it. Feathery scales on her tail symbolize her wisdom. She will maintain control over her wealth. Her garden will continue to grow under her care. This card represents a chance and time to live life well, reminding us that we work to live, not the other way around. Money is best enjoyed rather than hoarded. Because you maintain this balance, your life will be fertile and abundant. Well, 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 my beautiful Aries, it never ever ceases to amaze me how the cards know exactly what to say every single time. Our focus during the month of June is love, relationships, family, domestic affairs, children, and home. And I'll be damned if not every single one of those cards spoke about love. We start off, here you are, you're loyal and dedicated, ready and willing to share your love. A love is coming towards you. If you are already in a relationship, be ready to move up another level. This person that is coming towards you is the embodiment of love. It, someone from your past could be coming back into the picture. This could be the lover that was represented in the Knight of Cups. Or it could be a friend, such as the King of Swords, telling you not to be an idiot. Stop. Think clearly. Be wise. Don't jump in full force, giving all of your heart too quickly. Be logical. Don't settle for just anyone. And then the lovely, lovely Nine of Pentacles tells us, live life to the fullest. And remember, love yourself first. Your life is already amazing. I've told this story several times and I'm just going to say it again here. You are like a banana split. You've got your three scoops of ice cream, you've got your hot fudge, your caramel, your strawberry, you got your bananas, you got some whipped cream, throw on some nuts for added measure, you know, because we're all a little bit of nuts. Um, and you know what? Dig into that with a spoon and it is, oh my God, so awesome. That's you. That is your life. You are completely, utterly amazing and awesome just the way you are. Don't be desperate to have a cherry on top of the banana split. Oh yeah, cherry would be good. We all want that cherry. But let me tell you something. That cherry is nothing but a bonus. That cherry does not complete the banana split. The banana split is amazing just the way it is. The cherry complements the completeness of the banana split. So love yourself first and foremost because you're amazing. You're beautiful. You are so beautiful. Don't settle for less than you deserve. I hope that today's message has resonated with you and will help guide you through this month of June. If you would like a more detailed reading, you can go over to my website at www.conjurenits.com. You can book a reading there. Um, I hope this has helped you and love you bunches. Bye-bye.